All right, you guys are live. All right. Okay, guys, I think we're back for good now. So let's let's take it away, Duck. All right. So uh, if we're ready with the timer, I can uh, I can just get started and try and uh... yeah, I can start you off. We'll just uh, switch back. Mm -hmm. I can just count down if that's what you want. Yeah, yeah, sure. I uh, say so, uh, uh, I'm not supposed to be restreaming. I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I'll start you off, and then so we'll get you going first. That's what's important. All right. So uh, if that's all fine, then let's just get, let's get going. Uh, let me actually yeah. get everything ready so I can actually just press once. Yeah, this still says painted world, but it is actually my my actual run save that's now been loaded. So without anything else, uh, let's five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so first off, much like. Uh, Cursor on screen. Uh, <laughs> when I open the um, marathon, I am a floating head uh, with legs because I've used equip slot manipulation to equip three different headpieces. And when you equip a headpiece in a chest or arm slot, um, it just it replaces the chest or arms. So I don't have a chest or arms, but I do have multiple headpieces. So we can just. Beautiful. Um, and all of their effects stack, so that's quite nice. Okay, nothing going on here. <laughs> um, Anyway, it's run. It's kind of. It's got bits of. But it's over now. Yeah, there's. There's no. This is fine. I think everything. Dark Souls beginning, you know, the war. I need the Estus because I've already got it. Don't appear to be dropping it front. Everything is cast French. Oh, is it? So. Um, should I just keep going, or...? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Alright, so... Because of the Sif incentive... Yeah. Um, good now. Okay. Because of the Sif incentive, I'm actually going to do Four Kings as the first boss. Um... Oh, that was a really bad setup. <laughs> I'm going to take some extra full damage here. And send the elevator back up. So yeah, because I had the incentive to save Sif, I want to get four kings out of the way pretty early on. So, you know, just as you would do, you just go straight down to New Londo. And I'm going to go straight into Seal Skip. Um, and fight four kings. Um, because I've got the Covenant of Artorias, so... No need to wait. Let's just... Uh, go deal with four kings, or hopefully one king. Okay, so yeah, normally they try and take the ring off you, but there's a glitch where if you use equip slot manipulation and equip the ring in your hair slot, um, then and you also have it equipped. So you can see I've got it equipped here, but it, I had it in my hair slot. And the game tries to remove it from you, but once it's removed it once, it uh, doesn't need to remove it again. So, like, you still keep it equipped. Um, but if I remove it, it's gone. 
So that's why I need to do them first. And that's for kings. Um, so I don't have the Lord Vessel yet. Oh, I should be fine. So, no, I don't want to go to the bottom of this box. So I've got to just warp out of here. Yeah. Anyway, so that that's the Four Kings fight, which is, in fact, yes, very much more like one king. Okay, that's not the right ring. Uh, you're the right ring. Okay, that's, sorry. Okay, so that out of the way. We're just going to go and do usual sort of stuff. Run through Berg. Uh, head towards Taurus. Get hit by firebombs, as you do in any... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good start. Um, nothing happened. Um, don't mind anything going on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just heal. Yeah, random hollows do a lot more damage to me than four kings. Anyway. So, with four kings out of the way, we're just going to go to Taurus. And then, so, so this is sort of like normal. My body, I kind of left it behind in New Game. Yeah, only 99 left. It's it's a worrying situation. Um, <laughs> so, because I don't need like, to pick up gold pine resin or anything, I can just go down here past the um, <laughs> Pack Knight Hollow Percent, yeah. No. Oh, please no. Thank you. So, I'm actually able to bump into stuff because I'm wearing leggings of thorns, which is one of the bits of armor I'm still wearing. Um, so you can see I've got Crown of the Dark Sun, Crown of Dusk, Master Child, and Crown of the Dark Sun and Crown of Dusk are giving me magic boost. And uh, Master Child is stamina regen, so I, sh I generate stamina really quickly, and I deal a lot of damage. And so I quit out there, because I actually want to go the opposite direction. But because it's all bosses, I have to kill Taurus. Um, but I actually want to go down Havel Tower. I'm going to just... Normally I'd have healed at the end, I kind of forgot. So I'm actually going to go down here. And we're going to go this way through and do the first glitch and meet a good friend, that really irritating rock. Not Havel, in this case. A different one. Ah, Havel's nice. Right. So I'm going to just cast power within. and fiddle around with rings for a bit. And now, hopefully, if I path correctly, I can avoid getting hit by any of Hydra's attacks. Yeah, that's good. And now I'm kind of waiting to see what Hydra does. If I get a melee... No, it's fitting. So I'm just going to cast a crystal soul spirit. Seriously? Okay, well, third time worked. And I'm going to stand over here and hope I get a nice close range attack. No! I am somewhat being trolled by Hydra. Thank you. Anyway, that's Hydra. So I just need to kind of get out of the way. And then I need to get rid of power within. <laughs> Dan tier aim. Thanks, Capitaine. All right, so we're on to the sort of... This is the first major glitch, so... I run around in that bit of water. That actually... It, that area there will load the DLC, and this is my friend, the rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's annoyingly slippery to get up on, and then I've got to try and do item swap off this rock. <sighs> that would have been so good if I'd actually got it. Okay, so we get back up, and so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use the Purple Coward's Crystal, but the game, like, knows I'm not in PvP, and so I shouldn't be able to use it. So I'm trying to item swap, which involves using an Estus 
on the frame I land, uh, which will instead use the purple coward's crystal. But this rock falling off it is annoying. <laughs> and uh, getting like a consistent fall is kind of tricky. And now I've walked too far that way. I need to come back. Okay, we got it. And so I was talking about ladders, and I was specifically referring to this one, which is going to take us quite a long way. It's taken us all the way to the painted world. And if you remember at the start, I did that invasion with Shiva. And uh, because I did that invasion, it act the game actually stores where you've last invaded. And that glitch, for whatever reason, warps you to wherever you last invaded. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a different save, new character, or anything. Um, it just warps you to wherever you last invaded while the game was running. So I'm in the painted world. And we've skipped, you know, getting the peculiar doll, any of that stuff. And so we're just going straight to Priscilla immediately. Oh, that was really good. You came. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Iron Golem skip. Sends Fortress skip. So you just. Yeah, take that floor. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad aim. Okay, and now the one thing I'm worried about. So you might see me doing this again. <laughs> Didn't get it, so we're safe. Okay, I was a little worried. There is a soft lock there. Um, where you one-shot Priscilla and get Moan Glitch. Thankfully that didn't happen, so we can carry on with the run. <laughs> yeah, no Moan Percent at Rhythm. Um, yeah, so that's out of the way. And now we're in Analondo already. Past, uh, yeah, you know. So we haven't done Iron Golem, and I haven't done Sands Gate Skip, but I'm, we're already in Analondo, and we're going to head straight towards the the rest of the Analondo bosses and kind of clean up Analondo really early. So the next box I'm actually going to go for is Gwyndolin. Um, so this is just your usual rafters stuff, except hidden body just to make it really comfortable um, and I can just sort of sprint and not care about getting backstabbed like uh, just trying to you know focus and run in a straight line which is one of the hardest things to do in Dark Souls 1 anyway we did it, made it here. so um Next up is, I'm actually going straight into Gwyndolin here, because while I'm at, at the Louvre already, it's just pretty fast to just just deal with Gwyndolin, and because it's New Game Plus, I have the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Yeah, you should, do, you should watch uh, the PBs I had and Regal had where we didn't do it and weren't Peaches, and both of us got backstabbed on the rafters. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty good. So yeah, next level peaching. I only have 99 vitality. In fact, I don't have 100. No, you didn't peach and you got backstabbed and that took way longer than just casting hidden body. Halt, hear the voice of myself. So Gwendolyn's gonna kind of like witter onwards, um, but we're just gonna carry on and just deal with Gwendolyn now. And he's gonna give us annoying spells. Like too far away to really go for him now. Okay. 
Yeah, that's fine. We can do with that. That's a bit too far. Oh, come on. I... Yeah. I could probably have gone earlier, but... Just easier not to have to worry about it. That's Gwendolyn. And so now we're just going to go towards... Uh, ONS, having dealt with Priscilla and Gwendolyn already. So it's kind of nice. It's like, um... <laughs> just, uh... No one-shot. Like, yeah, I could have done Power Within. But so... <laughs> so next up, we're going towards ONS. I'm going to switch back to Chloranthi, so I have the stamina regen, and I'm going to heal up. Because why not? I, you know. And just a uh, normal run through um, an Orlando. Yeah, it's very concerning. I might run out of Divine Blessings. So, anyway, um, well, Silver Knight Archer Skip, you could do it, I mean, that's, but the thing is, it's basically the same as just doing Gwyndlin early time-wise, um, and it's slower RTA, for sure, because it's like two extra quit outs. body at Gwyn. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me about that. Anyway, so she's going to cast power within and go to ONS. gonna chug another one because everyone seems to be getting so worried. <laughs> so this is this is good RNG. Let me run past. And I try and cast power within at him because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Glossing over the fact that both of my ONS fights have been complete train wrecks. <laughs> I said complete train wrecks. I'm just gonna jog because there's no way I'm making that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Two years lost. <laughs> oh god! That was, I, I'd rather have had to die and run back in, in some, in some respect. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so. Anyway, so given that I skipped, uh, we did the Painted World right at the beginning, and um, so I haven't actually dealt with Iron Golem, and I don't have the Parish Bonfire. So I'm going to actually go back and deal with all that now. So... 
Um, well, the problem with wrong warping for Gollum later is that I don't have... I'd have to run all the way to the DLC. Oh yeah, and by the way, Iron Golem is here, but inactive. I can't actually do any damage. Uh, but the bomb-throwing dude, however, is still here. And is perfectly happy to throw bombs on me. Right. Um, and actually, to activate Iron Golem, I have to go to the fog gate here. Um, and that triggers the, the fight. And because I waited so long, the cast is actually in a different spot to where I'm used to it being. That's nice. Anyway, that's Iron Golem. I'm just going to chug another one because that's like uh, everything, everyone's favourite thing. Anyway, so... I don't know, I never get that bomb. It's usually like the normal spot. Possibly because of where I was standing and how the fight was triggered. Anyway, so we're actually doing a skip called Reverse Sense Gate Skip. Uh, because it was, I got into Sense Fortress without, but I don't have the Parish Bonfire. So I actually kind of need to go back to get it. And the quickest way to go back and get it is this way. So we're just going to drop out of Sense Fortress. And for, you know, one of the very few times in a speedrun we get to see... Siegmeier sat there, all sad. And uh, just uh, looking displeased with things. Anyway, so now we're back in Parish. Uh, we're going to go and deal with Gargoyles, because that seems like the sensible boss to deal with right now. Hopefully it'll be go a bit better than that ONS fight, which... Oh my god. <laughs> I survived, so, you know, that's something, but uh, it's not a lot. Um, and also, because <laughs> upgrade, unfortunately you can't upgrade the catalyst, and it wouldn't do any good for me uh, getting hit by things. Anyway, so we send the elevator down for Stray, and uh, we'll just deal nice with gargoyles. Hey, okay, get through hollow room. And uh, because I've actually already taken the Abyss Bonfire and done Four Kings, I don't need to ring the bells. Um, so we're just going to skip ringing the bells and just uh, just kill gargoyles because they're still a boss and leave. So one and yes, much like most bosses in this. They don't take a lot of damage. And that's that's Gargoyles. And so, because of the Sif incentive, I actually need to do the DLC before Sif. So, I'm going to go straight to, um, to the DLC now. Like, I haven't placed the Lord Vessel or anything, but we're just, we're just going to go straight to the DLC. Yeah. So, when you use the um, Purple Cowards Crystal, I need to run... Well, first off, I need to run towards the DLC entrance, because when I'm there, the game puts the DLC in... It, it loads the DLC. So, I can actually... If I try to use the Purple Cowards Crystal without the DLC being loaded, um, it just won't do anything. Um, but because... It's loaded. I can actually go straight into the DLC and skip uh, getting the broken pendant and any of those other items. What? Yeah, okay. That doesn't matter. Hydra's already dead. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I can just go straight to the DLC. Would this be an okay time to read a donation? Sure, because we're getting back to my favourite rock, so, yeah. 
<laughs> okay. We have um, $5 from Volley Harmon saying, just sending some fun donation for Ashwin to read. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Please send me more donations to read. We have a lot of runs to go and it would be really awesome if we can meet the 4,000 um, mark tonight. Okay, let's just uh, de-aggro the... Um, just uh, de-aggro that crystal golem who was a bit close. Anyway, so yeah, we're, we're back on... Oh, hang on, I need to... So I need to run sort of around here to load the DLC again. There, there it loads, and over here it won't actually load, but it won't remove it. It won't deload it. And there we go. So now I can just quit out. And the game knows that I'm supposed to be warping, but well, it's it's trying to warp me out of the DLC. So I use that and I quit out, and I'm now in the DLC. And I haven't been to Duke's archives. I haven't killed the golem. Well, the golem would have interrupted the item swap. Anyway, so yeah, now I'm I'm in the DLC, and I'm just gonna go straight towards Manus. Like, right at the beginning. So yeah, th this category is mostly about, like, all the different sort of warps and routing that people wish they could do if only they hadn't missed out a number. Uh, when they did uh, the rings. Because, like... So there's a glitch um, I've ex I've mentioned multiple times called Equip Slot Manipulation, which I've used to equip multiple crowns and, and headpieces is as like my chest and, and arm armor. But um, it can also be used and is used in all bosses, for instance, to convert the Red Sign Soapstone into RTSR because the ID number of the Red Sign Soapstone matches the ID number of RTSR. And so the ID number of the RTSR matches Red Sign Soapstone. So if you equipped RTSR as a consumable, um, then you would you would be able to use it as the Red Sign Soapstone. Um, I'm resting at that bonfire for the Sif incentive because uh, I need to free Sif down here later. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it uh, at the end of the run. Can I read another donation? Go for it. I'm just going to run down to Manus and hopefully not die. So, yeah. Okay. So, we have $2 from AIM64 saying 4. I'm a little worried here. It feels like AIM has been counting up and I don't know what he's counting to. <laughs> do you have any ideas, guys? I have two dust crown rings, that always throws me off. Okay, so. Oh wow. Okay, I'm kind of glad that block worked, because that wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> anyway, that's manners. So you actually do that in Power Within and RTSR um, to yeah, make it the least shot. All right, uh, where am I? Okay, yes. So the brutes actually change slightly from uh, from what I'd normally do because well, there's a lot of there's like some extra wrong warps that aren't so fast to do. So I'm gonna go now and do Capra and Gaping. Yeah, there's like a, a weird, because when I get the second um, Crystal Soul Spear off, I sometimes get like an animation cancel off Manus, which is a little bit concerning. Anyway, so going straight into Lower Undead Berg Skip, and we're going to deal with Capra and Gaping now.
Can I do another donation while you're doing that? While I'm just getting really confused and lost, yeah. Go okay. for it. <laughs> All right, we have a big donation from Shadowcan of $50 saying, Love Speed Souls community for doing this each year. Keep up the great work. And he donated towards Dark Souls Any Percent Incentive of Ending Choice. And he chose Link the Fire. Guys, Link the Fire is winning. So if you don't want to see it win, you better donate. It's winning by $52 right now. So, as I was saying, yeah, I actually <laughs> picked up the road as well, thanks. <laughs> this is a bit wowie. This is very wowie. Highly skilled. It's an impossible skip. It's just. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna actually do the skip and then cast Hidden Body. There we go. Okay, so Kappa and Gaping. As expected. Nice. 84. I might run, I might have to go back and like, you know, buy some more. You know, I'm I'm running low. It's very concerning. Yeah, this, this part is just kind of running around. Yeah, it's, it's like the late game cleanup you do, except I'm not going to do the out of bounds. <laughs> I don't need another jump to fail three times. Uh. It's okay. Rats, indeed. The giant rat. So, yeah. Capra and Gaping, just pretty normal. Run, dark bead, same as New Game, except, yes, the one that makes all the difference. That's Capra and Gaping. So now we're going to go back for Stray. And, uh, oh yeah, sorry, gotta do this. You're welcome. <laughs> I think some people might know what's up other than the, uh, the three frames of Asylum Demon. So people were saying earlier, that I, uh, there were some frames dropped and they might have missed the Asylum Demon fight. Well, don't worry. Yeah, you know, it's Asylum Demon. It's not, you know, you'll find that I don't think you've really missed uh, anything. All right, let's actually just uh, drop this thing that's confusing me. Don't need that, don't need that. Yeah, I heard there were there were some frames in the Asylum Demon fight, so don't worry. I I made sure that you haven't missed out on anything. Hmm, something looks different. There were a few frames. That's what I said. There were a few frames. Um, hmm. Yeah, so maybe 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 we didn't miss things.
Hopefully. Oh no, he's too far. Come on. Come on, buddy. I think we're good. Yes! Alright, so, um. This is demon betrayal. <laughs> uh. So, we've got both Asylum Demon and Stray Demon. The game doesn't quite know what to do. But if I just sort of wait here, Stray Demon is behind Asylum Demon and, and just doesn't care. He's not a friendly demon. And so, yeah. That's, uh. That's Asylum Demon. And that's Stray Demon. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun... I thought I'd just do it, because I thought it was fun. Yeah, one day asylum. Anyway, so there's Lord Trek. We don't really care about Lord Trek. He only does anything if you ring the bells, and I'm not going to ring the bells. Yeah. That AI behaves really oddly. Okay, so I want to swap this out for Rusted Ring. And get full control ready. And I don't need to send this back up. So that, yeah, there are a few differences. Um, caring about speed, exactly. I mean, you know, this is this is a marathon run. Like, might as well show something fun off. Anyway, so we're gonna go down to Quelag and do the whole Isolus segment in one go. Not quite like you would do it in a run of new game. Uh, let's just do this one. Okay, that worked. <laughs> I was a little worried. But we're fine. So that's kind of like the long fall control plunge you can do. Uh, which is pretty easy. You just run off there and you do a plunge which does the full damage cancel you would have seen in the other runs. But because I have full control I don't have to roll or anything at the end. I can just drop down. Anyway. Yes. Um, if anyone new is wondering where my body has gone, just shenanigans. <laughs> at this point. Anyway, so on to Quelag. Wow, I shot that way too high. It's Quelag. I was trying to aim for where Quelag would be in the air, but I just completely misjudged it. But that's fine. Right. Um, so now I need to. I'm going to equip Dusk Run Ring just to set up half he half health. And I'm going to drop down on here to put myself into RTSR range. That. I'm going to get a Stored Roll. And I'm going to equip the Dragon Tooth. And I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to quit up. And what this is going to do is it's going to slowly move me backwards and through the, yeah, planned Stored Roll. You've got to, you've got to plan these things, Capitan. Um... If you don't plan them, how do you know you'll get them just when you need them in a run? <laughs> I'm going to quit out, and the, the elevator I'm standing on um, is part of a separate map to the map I'm actually in, and it loads just slightly later. So I can actually just fall through it before it's made its way up. And I can just land on Fire Sage, who is conveniently at the bottom. Um, just give him a little punch for no reason. And um, yes, that did get patched out in the remaster. Um, well, it's actually not not so much that like they specifically patched it out, but um, it loads too quickly. Okay, so now I'm going to do the the third wrong warp of the run. Imagine running remaster. 
And this wrong warp is going to take us to... There we go. Let's try. Nice. This wrong warp is going to take us to Ceaseless Discharge. Which is the fault location of Demon Ruins. Right, I kind of meant to do that menuing earlier. We slide down here to get RTSR. And it's a fairly straightforward fight. Do you have time for a donation? Go for it. I'm just going to be running towards uh, Ceaseless for a bit. <laughs> okay. So I have a $4 donation from Annan that says, Welcome, Raiders. You know what? I hate insect puns. They really bug me. And I think you're two runs late for those jokes. <laughs> but thank you so much for the donation. Um, and for the new people that just arrived, I just wanted to let you know that Save the Children has been around since 1990 and 1919, okay? And they <laughs> protect children's rights worldwide, so as little as one dollar can really make a difference and can make sure that they get healthy and fulfilling lives and be able to join communities like Twitch, like us, and be able to have really cool experiences. Right. And that's ceaseless. <laughs> so we're going to go on to Centipede, and this, this is pretty much like the normal end game um, up to this point. Like, you'll see this in Sword or Mage, you do, you know, Dark Bead, Quellag, Dark Bead, uh, Ceaseless. Very, very similar. Um, and it's after this that it changes a little bit in this fight. So. I don't really care too much about RTSR because it at most is probably only going to save me one shot. So I'm just going to actually... Yeah. Nice! Okay, I do care a bit about not dying. Can I rain? Thank you. Okay, that fight was weird. Had <laughs> RTSR and blew it. Yeah, no. Anyway, so that's, yeah, Centipede. Wow. It, the, the, the funny thing about New Game Plus is that you can have these fights that are just complete... Well, it was more of what happened at Centipede that was weird. I got a jump I didn't intend to get. I should have rolled. Um, and then I got hit because I got a jump. Yeah. Um, but unlike uh, new game runs, I just yeah, you get to survive these complete messes of fights rather than having to do them multiple times. Anyway, um, one thing that carries over to new game plus that actually is quite nice and saves a few seconds is that uh, your covenants cover, and that means that this shortcut door is openable, so I can just go straight to the shortcut door. <laughs> and open it to get to Bed of Chaos a little bit faster. Yeah, it's concerning. <laughs> it's one of those, like... The run can be a bit of a train wreck, but... Generally survive. Yeah, no need for shades, because... You don't go through, um... Okay, what are we getting here? Okay. It was nice, apparently. Uh, I did about bad stamina management, but it's okay. And so, yeah, on towards Bed of Chaos and Toki Bombs. Which I hope is goes a lot better than that last fight. for firebombs. I'm not sure if you're playing against Firestorm or for Firestorm. <laughs> it was just so 
slightly off position, wasn't I? That's annoying. Okay. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. And that's better case. Okay, now having done all that, I actually still need to place the Lord Vessel. So I'm going to go to the Abyss and place the Lord Vessel. I needed every, every point of that 1,452 damage. Okay, now I actually have to go back to Firelink. And I'm going to do do with Pinwheel and Nito. Yeah, bosses have more HP. I think they added, like, what's it, 14,550 health to, uh, to Bed of Chaos in New Game Plus? That sounds, that sounds like what they would do. So now we head towards Pinwheel and Nito, which is uh, concerning. I'm trying to read chat and run the marathon, and does that mean I'm allowed to blame chat for me being bad? Actually, we will quit, quit out because uh, I do still want to um, despawn the skeletons that would block me. <laughs> I could chug Estus at this point, but it's just more fun. Oh, nice back step. Not too. Okay, and I do a full control quit out to get that. I don't think I even mentioned full control quit outs, but um, if I cast full control and then take a lethal full, but quit out before the game has actually killed me, um, it will remember my location, but not that it should have killed me. Anyway, so on to Pinwheel, who is as you'd normally expect in all bosses. Uh, let's just jump. Okay, now I'm actually going to look at where I'm going for a bit. As I head towards Nito. trying to see. Right. So, yeah, heading towards Nito. Um, I have switched Catalyst. There's, like, a very slight damage difference between the Catalyst I'm holding now, which is the Tin Crystallization Catalyst, 
and the catalyst I was using before, which was the, the Manus catalyst. Um, and actually this makes a difference on like a couple of bosses. And the first one of those is, is Nito. So if everything goes as it's meant to, which you know is... That sounds like what's going to happen, given how this run has gone so far. with it. Okay, good. So yeah, we got Nito. And because I'm using Tin Catalyst, he is just three dark three crystal soul spirits. If I use the Manus Catalyst, I'll just pop another one even though I really don't need to. Uh <laughs> he's actually an extra cast. Because Manus Catalyst does more damage with um now I gotta walk to township. And now I'm gonna do the fourth wrong walk of the run. Um, which is gonna deal with the fact so earlier on I killed Manus. Which means that even if I went back and um, I'm pretty sure even if I went back there we go, wrong walk. And got the uh, broken pendant, I would no longer be able to get into the DLC. But if I do a wrong warp to the Tomb of the Giants, where I end up is unstable ground, and it doesn't store my position. And then, for whatever reason, because it doesn't store my position, when I quit out and load back in, I am at the beginning of the DLC. I'm actually just going to take this. That's like the only bonfire I forgot to light. <laughs> In new game. Anyway, so on to Guardian. And we're just gonna cast homing, just the song does. And I'm gonna kinda just left side. Because I hear it's the, the way now. And that's Guardian, who actually behaved really nicely for a change. So, yeah, using an unstable ground wrong warp, we can actually just get into the DLC uh, without having to uh, go to archives at all, which is quite nice. So I'm going to swap rings there, and this is because I need, like, power within isn't going to last that long. Um, so I want RTSR for Artorius, and so I use the ring swap to put myself on half health. So I'm going to watch as power within drains my health and then quit out to stop power within once I'm in RTSR range. Which does mean I have to deal with these two gardeners because they're kind of annoying. But thankfully, Boots of Thorns uh, mean I can just roll into them and they will sort of get staggered. And that gives me enough time to get past and quit out. So now we're going to go straight to Royal Woods Skip. Um, thankfully, the much nicer version uh, I have so many souls because of, well, of quantity storage in New Game, but it's uh, it's New Game Plus. So I had them at the beginning of the run. Because the the, uh, the sort of main thing about this is is the route rather than the uh, the bosses per se, I guess. That's what we skip. Okay, and now Artorius is another one where catalysts are kind of important. If it goes well. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of just hope this goes well. Oh, and he is not behaving nicely. Okay, that's fine. I did not want the flip opening, but thankfully, yeah, that is why I equipped Artorius' shield. Because, thankfully, you can just block, which makes it a lot easier to be close to him. Um, and being close to Artorius means um, it's much easier to hit him with all of a dark bead. If you try to run away or, you know, dodge, it gets really awkward to try and actually hit him with the entire dark bead. So I just 
move away. Yeah, the shield is upgraded. Of course the shield is upgraded. What do you take me for, Capitan? Duck, let me know when you have a moment for a donation. Please? Yes. Um, okay, well, we'll do it after Calamy. It's probably good. Because I'm going to do Calamy, and then there's a little bit of time as I go to Seath. That? So... Yeah, Calamy is, if you watch the 100% run, this will be kind of familiar. So I'm going to do slightly different strategy. And I'm going to mess up my ring swaps. Okay, so I do power within. And I'm going to be chugging through these 75 blessings. Like you wouldn't believe. And this is actually the main reason for the great shield so um i rng manipulation saves about 10 seconds game time and just loses me time real time so i don't do rng manipulation yeah that's a good thing yeah Like, the, the the manipulation works really well for in-game time, but also actually doesn't save me that much time, right? Oh, nice, he got the lizard. <laughs> oh. I kind of missed that one. I should have been paying more attention. I could have had a two cycle if I'd realised what he was doing earlier. But I got distracted by the lizard. What are you doing? Okay, Calamity's flying away. Yeah, you can actually get three hits on that one if you recognise it quickly enough, but, but I, I was distracted by the lizard. Get death. So actually the yeah, the quickest way would have been just what I did, but actually remembering the three shots. Anyway, so now Calamite's dead. I'm going to get a little death cry, and I can just warp out. <laughs> and we go straight to Analondo to deal with C. No. Oh, am I going to get it in here? Because I was slow. No, I didn't seem to get that. Okay. Yeah, healing then warping away. I'm just, uh, you know, playing with you. Only 70. So, can we get those donations Yeah, in go them? ahead. Go ahead. Okay, awesome. Uh, we have a donation from Volley Harmon of $5. It says, I missed the last five minutes of the run. Could you reset real quick, please? And by the way, chat, did you know you can save the children using your money? It's so easy to be a hero these days. It's shaking my SMH. <laughs> and we have another one from Metal Mickey that said, well, it doesn't say anything, but it's for thirteen seventy four. Thank you guys so much for the donations. Um, other than saving the children, did you know that you can also be eligible for prizes from Bandai Namco? There's some pretty cool bundles out there. And if you also donate, it would make me really happy. Just for all those uh, keeping track. And now I'm heading towards Duke Skip. Okay, for those who don't know, I'm wearing three crowns. That's why uh, you can't see my body, because the game has stopped. It's replaced my my body. I think it's not so much that I used Estus, that I used Estus and then immediately halved my health. 
<laughs> like... Oh, nice, I thought it was at full control. Yeah, that's... Guys, only a hundred and twelve dollars to four thousand. Let's see if you can there do it. There we go. That jump is, yeah. It's a fun jump. Be nice if I could just roll over it, like, you know, remaster. Do you need full damage here? Okay, I take a bit of full damage and I'm in RTSR. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do the Crystal Caves drop. I'm gonna try the actual drop once. If I mess it up and manage to quit out, I will just go the Peach way. Nice. Okay, and we go towards Seath. We're gonna just get hidden body ready. And uh just don't wanna deal with any it's, not, it's actually not so much in the fight. Like, usually there's already that you don't want to get a clam in the fight. Uh, but... <laughs> in this case, it's more that I just don't want them to attack me, and I want to run straight through the middle. Okay. So anyway, this is Seath. And it goes pretty much like it did in Hundo. Except I don't need to kindle the bonfire. That's Seath. And so now we're on to uh, the sort of last bosses. And we're finally going back to Parish. Actually, I just wanted to see. Did I? No, I haven't yet. Okay, cool. Um. If you like Andre, look away. So one thing you've got to remember is that there's a Sif incentive, which means I need to go and free Sif in the DLC. Yes, and we met that incentive thanks to everyone. Yep, thanks everyone. Um, we'll get to watch the Sif cutscene, which actually, it changes the fight very slightly as well. Which I didn't know before because I'd never actually bothered to do it until I decided to make it an incentive. Um. All right, but first off, we're going to do butterfly. Yeah, it's very slight. You basically the fight starts the other way round. Well, so it's not actually that slight, I guess. Um, like instead of facing away from the grave with Sif, like on the other side, you'll see it's it's the other way around. Can I do a really quick donation? Yeah, yeah, sure. Butterflies, like, just do. Yeah. Okay. So I have one dollar from Serpent Text that says, Notice me, Ashlyn. I'm noticing you, Serp. Is 
see if we can get the one shot. Hey. Alright, so that's Butterfly. So now we're going to go and free Sif. And hopefully, things will become clear. And hopefully I didn't mess up. <laughs> there we go. And Calamite's dead. That's actually, uh, yeah. I did that by accident the first time I was testing this, and I thought it was pretty neat, so I figured I'd leave it so that you get the souls and the Calamite kill. On the way to free Sif. Uh, it didn't work in Sanctuary because I was quick enough um, to get away before it worked. So if you haven't done this before, this cat leads you towards um, Sif being uh, hidden in the... and trapped in the DLC. Let's see if I can get two of them in one shot. Come on. Yeah, nice. Nice uh, free aim. Anyway, so that's all of them, and now I just... Uh, wait and see if we'll... Come on. And Sif has been freed. Can we do another quick donation? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so we got $12 from iBirdet. Oh my dog. <laughs> and uh, we're actually putting more... Um, Donations into the Choose Between Link the Fire and Dark Lord endings in the Dark Souls Any Percent run for later. Nice. And if you donate $40, you can um, choose the Dark Lord ending over the Link the Fire ending because that's the one I'm late right now. Cool. So, anyway, yeah, now we're going towards Sif, and I will restrain myself from automatically mashing through the cutscene. As you would do normally. Yeah, Sif was, you know, all lonely and we, we went in freedom, but uh, if you want to actually see the cutscene, we do still have to go to the fight. Yes, we're watching the cutscene. I and mean, that's, that, that's the point of the incentive. So, yeah, uh, this is the Sif cutscene. I get to stretch. recognizes us. <laughs> Smelling the note also. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're facing the opposite way. And that was what I meant, Capitaine. Like, it's not the, the sort of fog gate start, it's like literally the whole fight is backwards. Very well. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's all of the other bosses, and now we're on to uh, Gwyn.
Maybe we should skip the cutscene. Ah, oh, go on. Let's let's do let's do RTSR. I don't have enough divine blessings. Well, that's that's why I've got to do it RTSR. Stop myself from healing. Ah, uh, they already summoned Solaire. Solaire got summoned in Hundo. Just for you, Capitaine. And then for everyone else. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that's uh, actually the first time I made it through this Deathless. I think that was Deathless. Duck, that was an amazing run. Arbitrarily <laughs> close to death. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, yeah that was uh, really fun. That's, <laughs> that's as good as everyone bosses. told me. <laughs> uh, sorry about some of the rather scrappy fights, but yeah. And uh, one eleven eleven, that's pretty uh, okay. Oh yeah, the credits are loud. I'll just uh, skip that. Now you want to see? I, I was looking at actually what the real game, real time was for me when I did the. Uh, that's but there you go. One o five. So yeah, that's. I'll take that for all the uh, the meme strats <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some of the interesting fights. Anyway, GG, yeah. Duck. Thanks. Thank everyone. you so much for the run. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll. Uh, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, better join next I year. I want to see more. I want to see more <laughs> memes. Oh dear. Please route some cool things for us. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, he does okay. a lot of routing, and you should definitely visit the Speed Souls Discord and then uh, bug him about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyway, NG2 to NG plus NG2 to NG plus six is just you do that new glitch where you can just advance the new game cycle. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, thanks. I'm gonna um, finish off. So, okay. Thank you. Bye.